Today we're going to learn about evaluating complex numbers. Let's say that if x was 2 plus 3i, y was equal to 3 minus 5i, and z was equal to negative 3 plus i, evaluate the following problems. a, 2x minus 3y plus z, and b, x times y plus 3z. So, let's start out with question A. Let's rewrite question A, but instead of using x, y, and z, let's substitute the value of x, y, and z in their respective places. So we have 2 times x, which is 2 plus 3i, minus 3y, and we know that y was equal to 3 minus 5i, and then we have plus z, which was negative 3 plus i. So we have 2 times into parentheses 2 plus 3i, parentheses closed, minus 3 times into parentheses 3 minus 5i, parentheses closed, plus into parentheses negative 3 plus i. So let's first start by distributing 2 to the terms inside the parentheses. So we have 2 times 2, which was which is 4 plus 2 times 3i, which is 6i, minus, now let's distribute 3, or negative 3, so now let's distribute negative 3 with the terms inside the parentheses. So we have negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, minus, or after that we have negative 3 times negative 5i, which is plus 15i. So plus 15i. And we have also a plus here. Plus negative 3 plus i. So now that we have simplified or get, gotten rid of 2 and negative 3 here, let's open up their parentheses. Now to solve the next part of the problem, we have to combine like terms. So that means that we will have to combine 4, negative 9, and negative 3, and we will have to combine 6i, 15i, and i. So 4 plus negative i, negative 9, is equal to 4 minus 9, which is negative 5 plus negative 3, which is minus 3, is equal to negative 8. So we have negative 8. Now let's combine 6i, 15i, and i. So 6i plus 15i is equal to 21i. 21i plus i is equal to 22i. So plus 22i. So, the answer to this problem, to problem A, is negative 8 plus 22i. Now let's move on to question B. B, let's first rewrite question B with substituting the values of x, y, and z in their respective places. So we have x, which is 2 plus 3i times y, 
which was 3 minus 5i. plus 3z, and z was negative 3 plus i. So, now, let's first solve this part of the problem. So, to solve this part of the problem, we, so to multiply two complex numbers with each other, we have to do it the same way that we multiply two binomials with each other. So, we have to use the FOIL method. That means that we have to multiply the first terms of each binomial, which are 2 and 3. Then we have to multiply the outside term, the inside terms, or the outside terms because it's FOIL, O comes next, so we multiply 2 with negative 5i. Then we have to multiply the inside terms, which is i, so we have to multiply 3i with 3. And then we have to multiply the last terms of each binomial, which is L, so we have to multiply 3i with negative 5i. So let's solve this part of the problem. We have 2 times 3. This is the first terms of each binomial, f. So 2 times 3 is 6. Now we have to multiply the outside terms of, each, of the equation, which are 2 and negative 5i, which becomes minus 10i. Then we have to multiply the inside terms, which are 3i and 3, so plus 9i. And then we have to multiply the last terms of each binomial, which are 3i and negative 5i, so minus 15i. So this is equal to i squared, because i times i is equal to i squared. So this is equal to 6, negative 10i plus 9i is minus i, or negative i, minus 15i squared. Now we have to add, so, so now we have to add 3 times in parentheses negative 3 plus i. So this is equal to, this is equal to 6 minus i minus 15i squared plus 3 times negative 3i squared and then we have 3 times negative 3 which is equal to minus 9 and then we have 3 times i which is plus 3i so we have 6 minus i minus 15i squared, minus 9 plus 3i. Now, let's add up the, comp the similar terms. So, we have to add 6 and negative 9, which becomes 6 plus negative 9 is equal to negative 3. Then we have negative i plus 3i, which is positive 2i. So plus 2i. And then we have minus 15i squared.
wait a second. So we know that i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So what is i squared? So we know that if we multiply the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1, we will get negative 1. So that means that i squared is equal to negative 1. So this is equal to negative 3 plus 2i minus 15i squared. So minus 15i squared. So times i squared, which is negative 1. So times negative 1. So this is equal to negative 3 plus 2i. And then we have negative 15 times negative 1, which is plus 15. Now, we have to combine like terms again. So, we have to combine negative 3 and 15. So, we get negative 3 plus 15 is 12 plus 2 I. So, the answer to question B is 12 plus 2i. Today we learned about evaluating complex numbers. Thank you for watching this video.